everyone, this is Megan from the Toasted Marshmallow Kitchen. In today's video, we're making three easy dinners. First up, we're making slow cooker bean burritos. To my crock pot, I'm adding in one can of refried beans. This is a recipe that could definitely use some nonstick spray at first. Next, I'm adding in four ounces of cream cheese, half a cup of sour cream, and then half a cup of salsa, which I didn't realize I was supposed to use one cup. This will get seasoned with one teaspoon of chili powder and a fourth teaspoon of cumin. I'm also adding in shredded cheddar cheese and then giving this a quick stir. This will be easier to mix together once everything is warm. This will cook on low for four hours. When dinner was ready, I microwaved a tortilla shell for about 12 seconds, then I'm spreading a nice amount of the bean mixture on top. I'm adding some more cheddar cheese and salsa to mine, and then we'll roll this up. This made the canned refried beans a lot creamier than they normally are. This made for really good nachos the next day too. Next we're making air fryer breaded chicken tenders. In this container I have one pound of chicken tenders that will get seasoned with salt and pepper. I'm going to add in a spoonful of minced garlic, a fourth cup of mayo, and one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. This will get mixed until the chicken is evenly coated. Now over to a small bowl, I'm adding in one cup of breadcrumbs, half a teaspoon of salt, an eighth teaspoon of pepper, and a fourth cup of Parmesan cheese. This will get whisked together and then we'll use this to bread the chicken. This amount of breadcrumbs was actually the perfect amount. Normally I end up with a bunch of leftover breadcrumbs that I have to toss, but not with this one. I'm lightly spraying my air fryer basket with 100% avocado oil, then I'm going to add in the chicken tenders. I had to do two batches with mine. I'm doing another quick spray of oil, and then this will go into the air fryer at 400 degrees for 5 minutes. After the five minutes, the chicken will get flipped over and go back in for another five minutes until fully cooked. Because we were having these on slider rolls, I did cut each chicken tender in half. Next time I think I'll season the chicken and breadcrumbs a little bit more, but this was still a really nice and simple recipe. Now we're making Bing Bing Fish Tacos. To start, I'm using these fish sticks from Aldi and cooking them according to the package directions. While those are cooking, I'm going to make the coleslaw topping. To a large bowl, I'm adding in one package of this classic coleslaw, a fourth teaspoon of ground ginger, a dash of salt, a spoonful of minced garlic, two tablespoons of lime juice, one tablespoon of maple syrup, but the recipe does call for honey, and then one tablespoon of olive oil. I'm also going to add in some chopped cilantro. This will get mixed well and then get set aside. For the sauce that will go over the tacos, I'm adding a drizzle of buffalo sauce to about half a cup of mayo. I'm not using the sauce from the recipe just because I really like this one. 
Now that the fish sticks are ready, I'm adding three to each tortilla. These will get topped with the coleslaw mixture and then spicy mayo. I love fish sticks, so naturally I really like this recipe. My fiance wasn't a huge fan though because he got tired of the fish sticks. Thanks for watching. All recipes will be linked in the description box.